Alright, hey everybody, this is Jason with Inkspit Designs, and today we're going to look at doing a vinyl decal but a multicolored version. Uh, in this case, you can see here I have a, a graphic here that's two different colors. I designed this logo for a, a local gym here, a CrossFit gym, and uh, we need to print it out um, in vinyl or cut it out in vinyl in uh, these two different colors, the red and the gray. So, how are we going to go about doing that? Well, if you look down here in the layers panel, you'll see that I have each. Uh, color separated on a different layer. That's very important to keep this, the colors separate. Um, that's how we're ultimately going to cut it. So first thing we want to do is we actually want to get the marquee tool here, the rectangle marquee, and we're, we're going to draw out a square. It doesn't really matter the size. Um, I'm going to put it, and doesn't really matter the location. What we're actually doing here is making registration marks so that when we cut out the vinyl we'll be able to line it up exactly on top of each other to get this exact look that we're looking at here. So I created this little rectangle marquee and I like to just make, turn it into a diamond. And so I'm holding down the shift key on the keyboard as I rotate it to keep it uh, exactly lined up vertically. And uh, I'll put it right about there and I'm going to make an exact copy of it. I'm holding down the shift key and the alt key at the same time to make a copy and to keep it in line exactly with the other one. And I'll put it right about there. Um, I'm going to drag down a ruler from the the top uh, line here, and if you don't have the ruler showing, it's Control R on a PC or Command R on a Mac, and just drag down a ruler. I just want to make sure that these are not uh, below where the actual graphic starts, so and they're not. Looks good. Um, and so it's I want to look at take both of these. If I hold down Shift and select both of them, make sure that they're on the gray layer, which they are. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the Alt key and make an exact duplicate. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll use a, a paste function. So, Control C or Command C on a Mac. Uh, we'll copy them, and then Control F or Command F on a, on a, a Mac will paste them in front. And by doing that, we're going to sample this red color. It's very important to get the exact colors that you need um, that you're using. The color has to be exact. So, I'm choosing I on the keyboard for the eyedropper tool. Um, I'll sample that color. Actually, let me select these first. Select both of them. Choose the eyedropper tool, and there we go. They're both that color. And if we look below, well, that didn't work. Putting it out of perspective. Uh, let's redo that. If we look below here, we have the gray one right below there. And if we look below here, the gray one's below that. So we have both of them. Uh, we just want to make sure that these red ones are on that red layer. So select both of them, go down here to the layers panel, and the little uh, little blue square here shows us what layer it's on. We actually want to drag that up to the red layer. So now they're on there. So now, if we're looking at this graphic, and we are only looking at the gray parts, we have the gray registration marks that we created at the top here along with the gray uh, lettering, and then same thing for the red. We have the red registration marks along with the red uh, design the red graphic. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this and we're going to cut it out on our vinyl machine and we're going to separate it by color layer. Um, and once we do that, we will be able to uh, put it together on the final product, on the, the final decal. I'll show you that next. Alright, so now we have our two graphics cut out. We have the gray one, or actually I cut it out in black. But the lettering with the registration marks at the top, as you can see there, and then we have the red um, part of the graphic with the registration marks as well. So you cut both these out and you make sure that whatever is going to be the bottom, you make sure you leave a little bit of room around it because you're going to be placing other things on top. This is just the vinyl weeded out, nothing else on top of it, no topper or application tape or anything. So we're going to take that, lay that down, and then we're going to take uh, our uh, a top piece and we're just going to peel back the top. and. Just leave the, the top line exposed, or the top part of the application tape. And all we want sticking out is the registration marks, so just like that. So the sticky part of the application tape, and we see the registration marks. And what we're going to do, I don't know how well you can see this, but we're going to exactly line up the two uh, registration marks.
And if I line those up right, they're attached on there. And then at that point, all we do is hinge up the rest of the, the graphic, peel it back, and then we just lay it down. And there we go. Smooth it all out. And uh, you take off these registration marks, cut, cut it down, take off the registration marks, you don't need those anymore, and you have your graphic all ready to go. Thanks, this has uh, been Jason with Inkspit Designs, and we'll talk to you later.